On March 16, 2018, along with my mother's sister Louise, my daughter Sandra and my good friend Edith Schneider, I attended the opening of the Battle of Britain Bunker Exhibition and Visitor Center in Uxbridge, London. The museum is next to the bunker where my mother served in the Royal Air Force during most of World War II. We were fortunate to be invited to the inauguration as VIP guests, as my mother was honored with several pictures of her that will be part of the permanent exhibition for years to come. We could not be more proud of my beloved mother. Rini Shalom was born in Manchester on November 23, 1922. She came from a Jewish Orthodox family of nine siblings. She was the first female in the family to volunteer to a Royal Air Force, quite courageous in that context at that time. She served with distinction as a teleprinter operator at Oxbridge Base, west of London, from December 11, 1941 to March 17, 1946, and she received the Defense Medal. She always emphasized that her work at the Oxbridge Bunker was top secret, as it was the Air Force Signal Control Center. These headquarters were principally meant to test the operation of weapons when landings were taking place at the port of Dieppe in France. One day in June 1944, while her boss was off duty and she was in charge, a group of high-ranking officers walked in wearing uniforms with very important medals. They told her she had to send a coded message and that it must be sent very carefully and with no mistakes. She was nervous, but she managed to send it flawlessly. The following day, she found out the message she had sent. It was the communication instructing British troops of the launching of D-Day. In November 1953, she married Leon Krem, a Peruvian medical doctor who had just completed his pediatric studies in Bordeaux, France, and she moved to Lima, Peru, where she started her family. Two kids, me and my brother Ricky, and had five beautiful grandchildren. May her legacy live on forever. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. All our hearts go out to the fighter pilots.